today in this video we will learn about water mesh system on ship so first we will discuss the general arrangement that is on the ship and then we will see the actual what actual setup we have on board ships so this is the general water mesh general setup that is available on the on board there are a lot of other steps being involved in between but this is the general diagram to make it easier to understand so the first one is detector head which detects the fire so once the fire is detected by the detector head it will transmit the signal to the water mist alarm panel it will process the data here and uh, will signal the pump to start and also the particular solenoid valve for it, that affected region let's say for the generator it will open for generator or for the purifier room or etc so the pump uh, unit is a high pressure pump and has different solenoid for each section the pump takes suction from fresh water tank it can be from both from one as per the arrangement given in the ship's specific plan then the pump uh, high pressure water sends it to the different type of nozzles present in each area where the fine mist of water you know sprayed over the fire to cool it down and then extinguish it so this is the general arrangement now we will see the actual setup that we have on board so now let's look how the actual things looks like so on the top you see the flame sensor flame sensor is used for water mist system and then uh, near to that flame sensor you will see nozzles also uh, this is the nozzle you see this is what spraying water during fire so this will be uh, quite a lot of in numbers depending upon the area surface area that they have to cover by spraying the water so every time you have a regular check of the system you check if all water is coming from all the nozzles or not Now this is the water pump unit that we discussed earlier. The signal from the alarm panel is sent to this unit as you can see. So this is a multi-stage centrifugal pump. This is the panel which has ampere meter and then like some alarms as well. But right now it's on power on that and it's on auto. That means if there is a fire it will automatically start. Then it also shows the regions where it will spray like ox boiler. These are the solenoid wells on the left hand side the blue ones which will open to the specific area where the fire was detected. So it, the pump will take suction, pressurized water will go. It will be common to all and then the solenoid will open to particular area where it was activated as you can see. These are the isolation wells. So this is outlet side of this unit. This is the drain after let's say if you are checking the system then you have the facility to drain the system as well. This is to vent the pump. This is the pressure gauge. Then uh, there is option of testing as I said. So these are the isolation well which you have to open. Then it will not direct the water to the original place but it will only direct to the drain. So this is how the unit looks like. In some setups there are two pumps and in this setup we have only one. And these are the lines which are going to different region like main engine, boiler etc. Now these are the local uh, activation point let's say if you see the fire and then you can activate by manual call points so these are the manual call point the blue one uh, you have to press it then it will activate that particular region where you have to 
you want to spray and it's written you see warning automatic release water mitt system so here is the alarm panel that was mentioned earlier it is in the fire control station this is the detection panel then this is general overview of the fire detection uh, and the fire control room you have emergency stops and etc quick closing valves also present in this fire control station as we can see In this panel you can see this is for water mist because it's a local fixed one and then you have all the details like uh, if anything is isolated any loop is active you can also disconnect the loop while doing the maintenance on that particular area let's say if you're doing a hot work in engine room then you can disconnect that particular loop from this place Thank you for watching video.